Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to, finally, a new video. Now, if you're wondering, where have you been? Well, um, I just decided to take a little break, like, for Thanksgiving. And um, I've just kind of been gone for a while. And I've been really busy with school, and I never really got to uploading more videos. So, finally, here's a new video. So, anyways, let's get on to the review. Merry Christmas. Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Extreme Chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Now, this is my first ever Legacy Collection figure, and I am very happy that I finally have one of these amazing figures that are based off the older movies. Now, this packaging is worth going over. It's because this is brand new on my channel. So right here is the T-Rex. Then right here, we have the logo. And then right here it says Extreme Chomping, Mantibulas Extremas, and all the other different languages that I don't even want to go over. So then anyways, turning it to the back, there's a little tab on the top right that says Gigantic Bite. Then there's a really cool image slash demonstration of the T-Rex. Then here's Dr. Alan Grant with the flair just like the movie. And then right here are some of the other figures from the Legacy Collection you can buy. I really do like that Robert Muldoon figure. Turning it to the side of the packaging, it's no different than the front, however, there is this one part of Rexy that actually connects to the front. Oh, I apologize for my mom in the background. So it actually connects right there. I, I really like how they did that. So now let's take this awesome figure out of the box. This should be pretty easy with my handy dandy scissors. Just cut this little strap right here and then, wait, what? Oh no, it has them stupid foot things that attach it to the box even more. Alright, this really sucks, but I think I'm gonna have to actually destroy the box to actually take the figure out. Oh look, there's its butt. Okay, now I have to take it apart even more. Man, this is terrible. They attach it way too much to the box. Alright, this is just completely ridiculous how they attach the tail to. It's just so much. It takes you forever to get it out of the box. Now you have to untie this thing. All right, so here's Rexy out of the box, finally. So now all I have to do is attach the tail. And there we go. First impressions are actually pretty good. I really love how they did the face sculpt. It looks really good. They could see every scale has been individually sculpted and it just looks pretty good. And I love how it looks great from all angles. It looks especially crazy from the front. Then turning it to this side, it looks even cooler. And yeah, they just did a pretty good job with the sculpt. Moving on to the neck, it looks pretty nice and it's divided into two sections. So right here is the neck itself, which attaches to the body. Then here's the head. This figure unfortunately does not have sound, but it does have a button that activates an action feature, which I will show you later. Now moving on to the torso itself, I think they did a really, really good job actually of the fine detailing and everything. And I love how it like blends in with the neck. It looks pretty good. And I like how they did the arms, but I'm not a fan of that long finger like that's pointing out. It just looks strange. Probably one of my favorite things about this figure are the legs. I love how they did the muscles under the nicely sculpted skin. You can pick out like every single muscle in the legs. They did a very good job. Now the tail is pretty interesting. Unfortunately, there is a seam line, but if you zoom in right here, there's a ball joint which allows articulation. And it does hold its position and it can go up, down, side to side, and all that good stuff that you'd need. The feet are pretty cool. They're very bird-like. However, they are relatively large, but that's just for balancing issues. And finally for the coloration, um, I think it's okay. It's not exactly film accurate at all, but I think it's pretty cool for a figure. Moving on to the back side of the figure, it's a little bit better. It's sort of a burnt umber color. The underside color is a bit of a khaki white with hints of brown. The jaw is a bit disappointing. It doesn't fade at all. It just It's a big wash of the same color. For the eyes, they're also a little bit disappointing. It's just kind of a a bright yellow when it should be an amber color. Now for the mouth, it's good. It looks just like what you'd expect for a mouth. It also has kind of a glossy finish to look wet. For the action feature, it's awesome. It opens its mouth and chomps. No other narration is needed. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. 
sorry, I got a little bit carried away there. But before we go into the action demo, I want to show you some size comparison. So here's the Extreme Chopping T-Rex next to the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. And um, they scale up pretty nicely. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, but it still feels like it's the same T-Rex. So I guess overall my favorite is neither. I don't have a favorite, but they both have their ups and downs. For instance, the Extreme Chomping T-Rex doesn't, it isn't as complicated as the Thrash and Throw T-Rex as far as its action feature, but it is a lot more simpler and a little bit cooler. And the Thrash and Throw T-Rex does have more articulation in the body, but the thing is, it's for the action feature, so it won't ever hold its position. So, that was the review of the Extreme Chomping T-Rex. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Now let's go into the product demonstration. in the world Ugh, crap Oh, crap. <laughs>